So here we go. We are playing some Cinderella Phenomenon today. Maybe finishing uh, Mr. Rumple's route. Who knows? Who knows? Oh my god, I love your transition. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. It's so cute. I, 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 I was really happy with getting the transition. They did it perfectly to how I wanted it to be. Have you seen my giant taco man at my house in Minecraft? I have, so that's a taco man. I didn't I didn't know it was a taco man. That looks great. Gonna eat and condense the design of the farm a little. Add a fast in and out elevator instead of the stairs. Ooh. Yeah, if you wanna do like a what what, what was that that stairs that you can make out of bamboo? Um But you can move really fast in those. I forget what they're called. All right, here we go. Let's begin Cinderella Phenomenon. Ah, princess, back on your feet. Oh yeah, we got sick last time. And we got princess carried and nursed back to health with Dr. Rumple. I'll just repurpose the bubble elevator I used for the farm. <laughs> the fast entrance is easy. Just a straight drop with some water at the bottom. Ooh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yes, I'm fine now. <gasps> one heart bit! Oh my god, it's a one bit heart! <laughs> Thank you, Shiroyuki! It's a one bit heart! A one bit heart! That's my favorite game! <laughs> also, hi there, Jackie! Welcome! Oh, what a relief! Last I saw you, you looked quite pale. Oh, how, how does the audio sound, by the way, everyone? Can you hear everything all right? Let me know. When? I dropped in to check on you in your room, but Rumble was there. He told me that he had everything under control. Why'd you need to check up on me? Because I was worried, of course. Maybe you've been working too hard. What is that? Is that a pineapple on pizza? Oh my... Oh my god. Of course you have an emote of a pineapple on a pizza, Shiryuki. Oh wait, it's a global emote? What? That's a global emote? I've never seen that emote before. That's a global emote. Wow. Okay, I'm done. I haven't seen that emote before. <laughs> the best pizza. No, the best pizza is when you... Uh, <laughs> you you know <laughs> You know No, I am fine. Just tell me what things need to be done. The best pizza is when you eat the pineapple before the pizza. If you know what I mean. Pineapple pizza is fine. I just wish they sliced the damn thing in the emo. <laughs> Stop it! You're the one that started it, Shiryuki! <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? I am not. She's fine, Annis. Dolores suddenly appears before me, smirking. The princess is sturdy and a little too stubborn to let a little sickness get her down. I've not spoken with Dolores or Parfait since that night where they decided to tell me about Mother. Just thinking about what they told me. Oh yeah, we found out that our, our mom was a gaslight gatekeep girl boss. Insert sound effect of Raiden from NGR yelling, STOP IT! <laughs> ah! <laughs> it puts me on edge. Aw, oh, princess, why the sour expression? Allow me to calm you down with a little lullaby. Excuse me? Delora, do you not know why she's so awkward right now? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <sighs> How I wonder what you are. Is she like doing magic on us or something? Annis, give me those work orders now. <sighs> Is she just fucking with us? Vile. <laughs> Up above the world so high. Annis! Oh, uh, um, the tables on the west are yours, Princess Lucette. I think she sung that when she cursed her the first- Oh, that's right! It's been so 
long since I I saw that. Wow. So she's just fucking with us. I quickly walk away from the bar and catch only the last little bit of Dolores singing. Yo, Dolores, low key kinda not. Don't you mean hot? She low key kinda hot. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, she is high key hot. <laughs> I love Delora. I am a Delora soon. <laughs> like a diamond in the sky. She sang that the night I was cursed. Hang her singing it again is infuriating. The song slowly fades from my mind as I go about my work for the day. I'm still a little shaky on my feet, but not so much that I need to go back to bed. <laughs> I see you're bonking me. Okay, my memory's not horrible. Hooray! She do be hot. She is super hot. Even though she uses like ice magic, she's super hot. As I'm walking around the bar, I catch snatches of conversation as I serve food. Here, the king's been mediating arguments between his two advisors. Eh, that Mithros man he reminds me of a snake always smiling that slithery smile of him. I wish he would smile that slithery smile at me. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's right, Mithro Mithros isn't dead in this playthrough, so I get to see more of him. Elio! <laughs> that one and Alcaster. Apparently there's been no end to their squabbles. And the king missed his monthly visit to the town yesterday, didn't he? I wonder if he's sick. Oh shit, is that knight dude already, like, holding him captive or something? Oh, we got a random voice mod for Kippies. Let me let me just bring up my voice mod program real fast. Might have to update. But once it's up, I'll give you the list. I get to redeem this on my main account now. Oh yeah, that's right. You were doing it on your temporary one. Your, your school one. <laughs> let me see. Oh, it just started up. Oh, it's still loading though. There's been no word from the palace, but I suppose he must have come down with something. Nothing would keep the king from visiting otherwise. Like he's being held captive by that one douchebag with the big Snaz nose. Wait, is Snaz? Hold on. No, I meant like... That's not the right word, is it? Is it? I don't know. I might have used the wrong word. <laughs> no worry. Okay, here we go. Here is the voice mods we got. We got the spellcaster, voice enhancer, magic chords, custom pitch, chipmunk, second life, and tune, and hurry up for kippies. <laughs> Those are your choices for the voice mod today. Elio googling how to spell nose. Shut up! <laughs> what is going on at the palace? Ah, you heard about the incident with the royal guard. Apparently lots of them have been getting dishonorably discharged. Found doing something to dishonor the king's name. Spell? Spellcaster. Yeah, this is apparently a new one, so I haven't heard this one yet. Let's see. Let's see what it sounds like. Eh? My thing's not starting up. Hold on. Why isn't this working? My voice mod isn't working right now. What's going on? I need to refresh it? Hello? Wow, yeah. Hold on. N maybe my settings are off? Let me see. Oh! Maybe, yeah.
Hold on. My settings are all messed up. Give me one second. It started playing out of my speakers. Ooh. Hello, 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 hello. Give me one second. Hello? something to dishonor the king's name. Huh? Like what exactly? Top Elio? Isn't that an oxymoron? It is not. I am not a bottom. Okay. <laughs> not sure. That information is still under wraps. That's how I try. And let Elio step on me with this voice. <laughs> Howdy, Elio. Hi, Charles. How are you doing? Everyone knows the T in Elio stands for top. Exactly. <laughs> Hi, my name is Etio. <laughs> and you spellcaster summons Y. Yeah. The E stands for egg. I don't have L in my name. Walking forward, not watching where I'm going when I collide with someone in my path. I feel a hand on my shoulders, and then another lifts my chain. I thought that's a chain. If it isn't the lovely princess, you're looking a lot peachier today. Because, okay, okay. Time is over for the voice line. Let me turn this off. Hello, you do do do. There we go. Okay, back to normal old Elio. <laughs> Feeling good so far. I hope you don't summon a demon against me. Then everything is fine. <laughs> no worries, no worries. I'm just a, a spellcaster. Just doing, just doing some. <laughs> if anything, I'll turn someone in chat's thing here into a noodle. Skedaddle, skadoodle, your is now a noodle. I love that video. <laughs> oh, we got a color wheel. All right, let's see what color we do in the day, boys. <gasps> oh, oh yeah, I made this one after being obsessed with dot hack for a bit. This one is a this is a kite color palette from dot hack who I am a massive simp for. I know like no one knows about dot hack, but I wanted to make it for myself. <laughs> so here's my kite color palette. Burger green. <laughs> the 
The booger boy is back. What do you mean? <laughs> I had to get here to say spellcaster. I hardly know her. <laughs> of course, we, we can't miss out on, on twice er uh, jokes. Of course, you have a kite color palette. Sunshine kite. <laughs> Don't mention my past. <laughs> there, the peak humor from Twy. There we go. Because you're not as pale. Because the color is coming back into your skin. I'm still thinking of the king and the situations in the palace. And barely hear Rumple's words. It isn't until he leans closer to me and narrows his eyes that I realize he is so close. <laughs> ah, how a sleeping beauty is truly awake. And here I was hoping I would have an excuse to plan to kiss on your lips, my sweet princess. <laughs> Bruh, not, not this early in the morning, bro. Not a single reaction today. Not a slight blush, not a slap, not... Are you still sick? Must I perform another examination? <laughs> Burger, I hardly know her. Humor, I hardly know her. Ratio NL Twy. <laughs> if your hair would be more lighter, you would have green green hair. Kind of jealous. Oh, true. That would be funny. To do like a, a green screen on my hair. I can't make it be green screen color. Possibly. <laughs> Are you LU and ratioing me? I am not an L. What do you mean? L and ratio and I D K. <laughs> Bruh. Examination? Yes, by looking closely at your face and to your eyes. How are you a doctor, Rumpel? I went to medical school and I saw I played Trauma Center on the Nintendo Wii. Rumble stares at me with surprise. I'm not sure where the question came from, just that it was hovering over in my mind. Have you guys ever, like, played a video game and it made you want to, like, pursue a, like, uh, profession? Because I have at multiple points in my life. Have you guys ever experienced stuff like that? You're not L from Death Note? I guess you're not smart then. Hey! <laughs> Lucette voice, I don't believe this man has ever been to medical school. <laughs> what? Princess, you wound me. I remember when I played Ace Attorney the first time, I wanted to become a, a lawyer after playing it. <laughs> you fool. You missed Trauma Center for the Nintendo DS. <laughs> Ace Attorney, Elio. Wanna see that bunny boy with transparent hair or something weird keyed in that hair? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta do that later. Make that like a, a color palette. And why didn't you become one? Because lawyer school is too hard for me. <laughs> I have not seen you do anything different from Annis. But my prescriptions... Even the people at the shops could tell us what medicines to buy. I'd be saying lawyer, I hardly know her, or prosecutor, I hardly know her. <laughs> God, the day I play Ace Attorney will be a, a, a chaotic one. <laughs> Fine, I'll show you. But yeah, I, at first I wanted to become a, a lawyer because of Ace Attorney. And then I played Trauma Center, and I wanted to become a surgeon. I sure gave up on those dreams fast. Going to surgeon school? Oh no. Like, you'll, you'll earn buku bucks, but my brain can't handle that. Surgeon these nuts. I'm scared of what's going on at Tumblr at the moment. Is something going on at Tumblr? Rumpel's expression slips into something shockingly solemn. He looks at me gravely and extends a hand. If you would be so kind as to come up to my room. Bro, what, what, eh? Does going up to your room have anything to do with work? Slip some open and put your little hands in the... <laughs> I don't know what's happening today. Today? This is just another normal day for you, Twy. Kept making puns to my sister and she told me, Did you get someone pregnant or what? Heh? 
Why would she say something like that? Delora appears before me again, this time without the snide smile. She raises an eyebrow. Oh, dad jokes? I see. You could cook your mac and cheese at a million degrees for one second. I know, I've tried. <laughs> Just saw a post that started with, I've apparently missed the Great Mouse Girl War of 2022, but what? The Great Mouse Girl War? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on on Tumblr? I haven't, I haven't been there since the male presenting nipples incident. I don't think either of your shifts are over. She looks at me first. Also, I meant for the lullaby to inspire you, not scare you, princess. For a few moments, she looks concerned, which startles me. The lullaby is certainly associated with a terrible memory, but... The weight of that memory has dissipated over time, as has my anger at Delora. It's still there, but holding on to that anger does me no good. Hey, character development! We love to see it! I sigh and shake my head. You have a terrible voice. <laughs> ah, there's the princess we all know and love. She crosses her arms. There was an orange cat outside today and he tried to get into the damn house when we fed him. <gasps> I love orange cats. Those are my favorite cats. Little cream creamsicle cats. I would have I would have snuck him in. <laughs> it is so much and also NSFW, so I can't link it here. What? I thought they banned NSFW on Tumblr. Sky's been weird in the UK today, Elio, at 6 dark, 7 light, 8 light, 9 red, 10 light, 11 dark. So the sky was red? I wonder if someone summoned some demons. A cat is too anxious to have other animals in the house. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Crisis on infinite earths? <laughs> I think of myself as a good bad guy. <laughs> That reminds me, I want to see the movie Bad Guys. It looks cute. Anyway, you don't want me to sing you into action again, do you? I can't believe I didn't make the Desu joke. I'm ashamed. Yeah, I was the one that made the Desu joke. <laughs> Sky was red for about 40-ish minutes. Someone was fighting the devas. You want to see the movie, Twy? <laughs> It's so good. Bad guys is? Uh, come to my room later then, princess. I'll show you proof. Watch it with me, Elio? <gasps> you guys wanna do like a watch party for it in Discord sometime then? That sounds like it'd be fun. I wonder if there's like online stuff yet, cause it's still in theaters, but it's about to leave theaters. No, not clowns, I mean bad guys. I know it was ambiguous, oh. Oh, I was talking about bad guys. Does no one want to watch bad guys with me? You guys just want to watch clowns? Proof? And that I am a capable doctor. If you're a bad guy, then you can be a part of my group. <laughs> Uncle walks off, leaving me with Delora, who looks at me skeptically for a few moments. Elio, I think you missed my self-deprecation. Oh my god. Oh, oh, you're calling yourself- Wait, what? Are you calling yourself a clown? Wait. <laughs> I want to watch Bad Guys with you, Elio. Okay, thank you, Shiryuki. <laughs> so I can watch clowns in their own VC. All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll watch Bad Guys. I'll try to find, like, a some place to watch it online. I'm calling myself a clown and a bad guy. Oh, I see. <laughs> so you're the entire circus. Yeah, you're not just a clown. You're the entire damn circus, Twy. Something on your mind, princess? There are so many conversations I heard earlier. So many questions that I have. That's what I have Twitch for? Hi, Elio! Oh, whoops. 
I was gonna do a joke here, but I can't even do the joke. Shit. Never mind. Never mind. Failed joke. Failed joke. Failed joke. I'll admittedly be the third time I've seen the other two times I've been at the cinema. Ooh. Elio's ending stream because of me. <laughs> there we go. At least you at least you understood the joke. Maybe I should have maybe I should have brought this up actually. Since Twy is so scared of this screen. <laughs> anyway. Back to the game. Well, I do not want to speak to Delora. I may as well ask her about something she might know. I overheard rumors about the palace. Did you now? We still haven't confirmed. Ooh, excuse me. We still haven't confirmed those rumors yet. Panic. I'm not scared of the BRB screen. I'm scared of you going offline. <laughs> Panic. <laughs> Look, princess, I know it's not in your nature to trust people, but trust Parfait in me at least. We'll let you know if something is up. I mushered back to work, where I spend the next few hours searching for more information. Unfortunately, everything I hear is just speculation. Good work today, Lucette. Has Rumpel already left? I think he went up to his room earlier. Oh, gotta go up there then. Thank you. Annis looks at me, curious. She looks like she's sizing me up, like... She's thinking about punching me inside of her brain. What? You and Rumpel have grown a lot closer, haven't you? Is she gonna punch me for being close to Rumpel? Well, we are partners. But yes, Elio, you, we gotta watch bad guys at some point. Alright. We are definitely gonna watch bad guys on the Discord sometime soon then. Because I, I wanna watch bad guys. I keep seeing people buying tickets for it, and I'm like, hmm, it looks cute. I want to get the plushies at some point, too. Ooh. But in the beginning, you didn't even want him as a partner. And now the two of you are... friends? And she's not the one I want to get punched by. I, I mean, sorry, what? <laughs> I wouldn't mind getting punched by Annis. But yeah, I would prefer getting punched by Delora. <laughs> Friends? If Rumpel considers me a friend, that should make me happy, but for some reason it... Makes me feel empty inside. Why? What else could we be besides friends? Oh, we got friend zoned. My cheeks feel warm as I try to think beyond the idea of just being friends with Rumpel. But Annis is... a nice girl! <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow your guys' mind with a new, with a new obsession. Like, of course there is something to be loved about a girl that hates you, punching you. Or like, a girl that is a total girl boss punching you. Cause like, she's obviously built for that. But like, a girl that is nice, punching you? Is like a whole other level of Gat Moe. Exactly. Yeah, Gat Moe. Exactly. Like a nice girl punching you. And maybe she's like... Maybe at first she doesn't want to punch you. She's like, but that's mean. Or whatever. But then she sucks it up and punches you. And then she's like, hey, that's not so bad. <laughs> and then she wants to punch you. Even more. There's something Gat Moe about that, you know? Friend zone. I hate that I knew where you were going with this. <laughs> we got that connection, Twy. Elio, shush. You sing about balls. I do not. You're the one that tried to make me sing about balls, Shiryuki. That's why you need to make puns until you get hit. <laughs> God. I'm happy that the two of you get along. Annis, I need to go. I told him I would meet him for something tonight. Oh, okay. Sorry for holding you up. Are you saying I'm Gap Moe, Twy? 
Anna scrambles off. Scrambles off, I mean. Leaving me by myself, I stand there for a few moments in an attempt to still my thoughts, and then I begin to make my way to Rumple's room. Rumple? Grumpy bun. <laughs> no talk, me Angie. <laughs> wrong, wrong expression. <laughs> what was the expression I have? What was it? There we go. No talk, me Angie. Elio, Elio, when we watch bad guys, please resist the urge to say vor on multiple occasions. There's vor in it! Hey? Nani? Oh my god, did my, did my VTuber avatar just... freeze? Sorry, I, my, my, uh... Oh my god. My VTuber model just froze. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Oh, shit. Sorry. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I didn't realize I was muted. Oh, okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. My program stopped working. Oh, but I'm back now. I am back now. Sorry about that. The door swings open and there stands Rumple with a dramatic bow. He ushers me inside before closing the door behind him. Hi, back. I'm Twy. <laughs> Speaking of, I gotta do usher work tomorrow. I'm a little nervous about it because of my my um my knee. I wasn't entirely certain you'd show up, princess. Normally, when you go places with me, it's out of necessity. Shut up, stinky. I only came to see the proof you insisted upon earlier. Proof that you're more than what you seem. He places a hand on my back and guides me over to a chair. He requests that I sit, and I do. Oh, does it still hurt from the fall? Yeah. Like, uh... It's still like, um... Having liquid come out. Like, I have to change my band-aid. Every day. Like, I need to change my band-aid after this stream. Because I just checked and it's covered in liquid. From the wound. Here it is, my proof. You tried to read it while you were sick, too. Oh? Oh, your journal? Oh, no, I hope it heals soon. Hopefully. I'm, I'm like, worried it might get infected. But it looks to be fine. It's just... Pussing a lot. I don't know if that's the right word. It, it's pus when your wound leaks, right? Your journal? 
I have seen him write in this before, but I thought it was for his memories, not for doctor things. He barely even works on patients now. Wimple's persistence stokes my curiosity, and soon I found myself flipping through the pages of the book. This was the journal you had when the merchant found you on the streets. You said it was empty then. I think passes, like, from pimples and stuff. I could be wrong, though. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I just know I have, like, liquid coming from my wound, but it's technically not blood. It's, like, the green stuff. Anyway, sorry, sorry for the TMI. <laughs> it was. I have been filling things in from memory ever since I remembered my job. The book is filled with diagrams, diagrams of the body, both inside and out. I have no idea what most of the words mean. What are the, the smaller words here? Oh, parts of the pancreas. Not very fun to talk about. There's the papilla, the pancreatic duct. The papilla? Sounds yummy. I want to eat your pancreas. Why is it necessary to use such big words for such simple things? Just looked it up, and it seems as though it's both. Oh, so so it is for wounds? For clarification, sometimes when you diagnose a problem, it isn't as simple as telling a person that their heart is weak. I continue flipping through it, with Rumpel sometimes explaining things that are on the page. Though I do not ask for the descriptions. Scattered throughout the journal are journal entries about his life. I want to eat your pancreas. Elio. Are you really that much of a weeb? What? Is it that surprising that I made a reference to that? Hey. Huh? When I get to the last entry, I spot my name and begin to read. But before I can even get to the next word after my name, Rumpel has taken the journal from my hands. Ah, sorry, my sweet, but a man's words are sometimes all he has. Insult them, and you break him from the inside out. He thinks I'm gonna insult his writing? But what do you think? Aren't you impressed with my sophistication? My breadth of knowledge? My intricacy? No, it's not surprising, actually. <laughs> what, are you disappointed that I made a reference? Is that it? He drew some pictures and wrote fancy words by them. <laughs> Princess. I cannot help the little laugh that escapes my lips. Immediately after I hear it, I feel myself flushing as Rumpel grins at me triumphantly. Also, PSA, never look up in images about pus. Oh, Lord, Twy! No! I can only imagine how terrible the image results are. Ugh. Just that I haven't heard anyone mention that manga, I think. Mmm. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I, I always, like, the, the name of it has always stuck by me. Because I was like, it's just like, you know, kind of like a romance thing. But they, they had the name be, I want to eat your pancreas. <laughs> your laughs are sweeter than honey, princess. And because your voice is back and you're no longer sick... I can hear it in all of its fullness. He takes a step closer to me and reaches out to touch my cheek. I flinch in surprise, but do not draw anyway. I don't know if you read it, but it makes sense. I have not actually read it. I only I only know of the name. It like sticks with me. When I heard the name, I was like... I'm guessing someone is suffering from like... Like, a pancreas thing. Yeah, like, it's probably someone that's sick with a pancreas problem, is my- is my assumption. The rapid beating of my heart is not altogether uncomfortable, even if it does confuse me. He pulls his hand away from my cheek, then flicks my forehead. Uh, what was that for? I wanted to see the way your eyes glimmered. You looked oddly vacant there for a few moments. <laughs> I open my mouth to speak again, but Rumpel surprises me by setting his finger on my lips. He inches closer to me, 
So close that I can feel his breath on my cheeks. Wait, are we gonna kiss? Is this the kiss scene? But even when you don't speak, your eyes speak for you. You have beautiful eyes, you know. Oh, oh no. The moral dilemma. Do we look away or do we look at him? Wait, are we kissing? Visible confusion. It sounds a bit too early for that. Yeah. I don't remember the exact details, but it's about someone being sick. But I don't think it was a pancreatic disease, huh? I wonder why it's called I want to eat your pancreas then. Let's see. Hmm. He wants to look into my eyes, but would it be better if I look away because I'm embarrassed? Or should I look at him? I don't know. I don't know what one he wants me to do. Let's try to look at him. Does he truly mean his compliments? I know he spoke about meaning everything that he says, but do you want me to get the guide? That would be helpful. <laughs> what would you want, Elio? I'm looking away. I, I don't, I don't, I don't share eye contact with anyone. I'm like that person that's always looking at the sidewalk when I'm walking. I'm not looking straight ahead. <laughs> I continue to stare at him. I don't look away even once, though I do feel a slight shudder run through me when Rumpel keeps my gaze. <laughs> this is gay. And fierce as always. He removes his finger, but does not step back. We're still so close I can feel his breath. Apparently the correct choice is to look away. Damn it! I should have known. I should have known. Alright, let's look away. There he goes again with his compliments. I should be used to them by now, but lately whenever he compliments me. I should have followed my instinct. <laughs> I can't stop myself from feeling flattered. From what I remember, it's because she read a book saying that people are healthy thanks to their pancreas. Oh, so I'm guessing someone is unhealthy and she wants to eat his pancreas so she can become healthy. So since she was sick, she said she wanted to eat his pancreas since he was healthy. <laughs> that is so weird. <laughs> when I look into his eyes, I can almost see my reflection in them. Without realizing, I look away from him, feeling my breath stop short before I can breathe out. Are you sick, princess? You look a little flushed. Princess. He removes his finger. He does not, however, step back. I'm still aware of his lips so close to mine, and his eyes, which are still looking right at me. There's actually cute slash sad. Aww. I can imagine, like, in the context of, like, the series, her talking about that would be cute or sad, but, like, hearing about it. Just like as a plot thing, I'm like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> this feels different than your usual resistance. Could it be that you're embarrassed? Oh, we're blushing. He clears his throat, then starts speaking again. In any case, it's so nice to have you back, princess. I missed you while you were sleeping day in and out. He missed me? But you have friends all over the Marchen. Yes, but none of them are you. You're special. My heart plunges like a rock. I can feel it everywhere in my body, reverberating from a place that doesn't feel like my chest. But I'm friend-zoned! He lowers his face so that the two of us are seen eye to eye. I forget to breathe as his hands go up to my shoulders. Princess. Yes? I inhale sharply as I get a better look at Rumpel's face. Up until now, I have not stopped to look too closely at his features. But now I cannot stop my eyes from taking them in. Whenever you're sick again, I'll be there to help you. Because I am a doctor, even if you might not believe it. But I'm friend-zoned, Elio Lappy. <laughs> the quote of the day is, but I'm friend-zoned. All you'll ever really need is a little vitamin me. What? <laughs> what the fuck? In one precious moment, every single bit of energy that's been between us vanishes. 
I stare blankly at Rumpel as he stares at me. Uh, oh, never mind. It was a pancreatic disease. Oh. <laughs> no. I thought that one was actually good, too. No. That's terrible. Is that meant to be vitamin D? Shut up! Oh, my God. That makes it even worse. What? <gasps> Let me just give you some more vitamin D. Ah! <laughs> Rumpel! Your jokes are terrible! <laughs> Rumpel pulls his hands away, defeated. I suddenly feel strangely upset. Yeah, I'd be upset too if someone said I'd need a little vitamin me as a vitamin D joke. What was I expecting from him? What else could he have said? Suddenly, I'm eager to look away from him. I look anywhere but at him, and eventually my eyes fall on a piece of paper. Vitamin D's nuts! <laughs> I recognize the name printed on the top, along with Rumpel's signature and the response lying next to it. Rumpel moves to stand in front of the desk once more. Rumpel, your jokes are terrible. I'm sorry, are you still talking to Rumpel, or did you accidentally call me Rumpel? I like the evolution of Rumpel as a character. He started off as me, then he became blinded. Now he's Twy. Rumpel is now Twy. <laughs> this is the dating Twy simulator. Ah, uh, that's... You're still writing to Bria? I sent her a letter asking for my old journals. I'm convinced that's where the last of my memories are, but... She refuses to give them to me. I glance at Bria's letter, my eyes scouring the words. I make a mental note of the address on the envelope. I'm gonna go to her place and slap the shit out of her. But don't worry, princess. I'll figure it out. But for now... He reaches for me, but I duck out of the way of his hand. I have to do this now while the address is still fresh in my head. I just remembered there's something I need to do. But, Princess, I was just... I'll see you tomorrow. I'm about to smack a bitch. I pause at the doorway to glance at Rumpel. See you tomorrow, Princess. Sweet dreams. Dating Twy Simulator, eh? Ah, so this is a cringe comedy. Got it. <laughs> Sussy Baka Boy. I'm not gonna respond to that, cause I'm not Chelsea Valka boy. But hi, Okami. <laughs> How are you doing today? I saw you got a bunch of Gundams. Ore Sanjo. <laughs> Good night, Rumpel. But you just did. I was just reading what was said, but not as if it was addressing me specifically. <laughs> I wanna date Elio. If I were to give you guys, like, the perfect game to, like, insert yourself as, like, a dateable character for me. I'm trying to remember. There was, like, this one character in an Atome game where I was like, that this is me, for real, for real. Probably Sheik. No, not Shiki. Why did you not assume Okami was talking to me? <laughs> Elio is the only sussy baka boy in my eyes. Well, maybe you should get your eyes checked. Go on. I'm trying to think what character is a good self-insert to date me, but I'm just like, Honey Pop Aubrey? I am not! I am not like Aubrey! That is offensive! That is offensive! I hate Aubrey. I hate Aubrey. Oi, I refuse to wear glasses. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Who? Who? Your time to shine? That's not a dating sim! I mean, you're denying. I'm saying I hate Aubrey. Google's because IDK honey pop. Aubrey is such a bitch. I hate her. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Kippies. 
She's like top tier in that game. I don't like her though. I like, uh, what was her name? It's been a while since I played that. Uh, also, thank you for the hydrate. Let me go get something to drink. I got nothing in my fridge, so I gotta drink like room temp drinks again. Damn it! Okay, I'll be having a raspberry peace tea for my hydrate. It's a ginormous can. You're probably a Tiffany simp, Elio. Let me see. Is that is that her? That name sounds familiar. Tiffany Honey Pop. Is that my favorite? You're right. That is my favorite. Tiffany is my favorite Honey Pop girl. <laughs> so just to confirm, Honey Pop is that you buy game, right? <laughs> I was confused because I was like, what did Aubrey Omori do? What the fuck? No, not not Aubrey Omori. I, I love Aubrey Omori. <laughs> But yeah, Honey Pop is that ya buy game. <laughs> I still got a, like, didn't they get a sequel? Isn't there like a sequel to Honey Pop now? I know you too well, Elio. You do! Yeah, Tiffany's my favorite Honey Pop girl. But yeah, you talk about, uh, uh, oh, Audrey, not Aubrey, yeah, Audrey. <laughs> but yeah, I don't like Audrey. She's just like, such a bitch. And like, I know that's why people like her, but I, that's why I don't like her. <laughs> Cause she's a bitch. Like she's too mean. Like the first cutscene I saw with her talking to like, uh, the, the girl that has a, a child. She like, was like really like going in on her about having a child. Like, getting pregnant, and I'm like, shut up. <laughs> Tiffany used to be my fave, then I realized Audrey existed. <laughs> and we, okay. Audrey, Audrey simps, I, I, I understand why people simp for Audrey. You know one character that people really like from Honey Pop that I, I just can't get behind, though? You guys want to know? Nikki. I don't understand why people like Nikki. Probably because they're like, oh, she just like me for real, for real. But like, I don't... I think Nikki is like one of the worst gamer girls ever. Tiffany used to be my fave, then I realized Audrey existed. Tiffany's mom. Oh, what was her name? Jessie? I feel bad for her. I sealed the envelope over the letter I had been writing since I woke up. And now to have it delivered. After I have the letter sent off with a messenger, I return to my work for the day. It starts first with Mr. Broom, then with the serving. I look for Rumple, knowing that it's now his time off, and I'm surprised when I see him sitting not with other women, but with Karma. Two of them are... Laughing together? Oh my god, they're not- they're not getting in a fist fight? Rare. It's funny because I generally don't like characters who are just like me for real for real. Yeah, th those characters tend to be pretty popular online, but I- I hardly ever can get behind them. Like, I like Futaba from Persona 5, but at the same time, she's not my favorite. That reward goes to Haru. That's a stiff competition. <laughs> Don't understand the appeal either. Jessie is Tiffany's mom. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I feel bad for Jessie. I guess that advice isn't too terrible. I give the best advice, darling. I'm a man of the heart. Perhaps not as much as I am, but I can give you credit when it's due. What are you two talking about? <laughs> Princess. Taste. 
Haru is great. I love her chemistry with Gin, Yuzu, and Kazuya. Wait, wrong game. <laughs> if we ignore Oya, of course. <laughs> You're like the, the only Oya simp I've ever seen. Suryuki. <laughs> but yeah, Haru is best girl, and I love her. I like Futaba, but I don't like Futaba as like a like a date thing with Joker, personally. I, I see them as like siblings. <laughs> it, it would be like if you could date Nanako. Like it just feels wrong to me. Well, hello there, princess. That's probably why like um Futaba's not high up in like waifu list for me, because I'm I just see her as like family. I can't see her as like a, a waifu option, personally. Keep those thoughts out of my brain, I'm sorry. I wanna have Elio judge my waifu tastes from Persona 2, Lisa, Lisa's good. Three, Yukari, Yukari's good. Four, Ebihada, I knew someone that was an Ebihada simp IRL and he was terrible so it ruined my feelings for her. Oya. I don't understand, but you do you. I need you to understand. I am dad coded. <laughs> Karma's mischievous smile confuses me. Even Rumpel looks surprisingly shaken. I do not look for wives. I like daughters. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that, that's how I feel with like, Persona 5 waifus, like, I don't- I don't include Futaba in the run-up, cause it feels wrong to me. Oya is great. Give me a precious bean. <laughs> you did not answer my question. We're talking about matters related to the heart. Of course you are. I took it upon myself to impart valuable advice to Rumpel. You're giving Rumpel advice? Even though you two are always at each other's throats? Oh, he's giving advice as the character that I dated before Rumpel. Huh. Even the bitterest enemies can become beloved friends. All it takes is a shared interest. I have no idea what you're talking about. But before I can say anything else, I'm swept up by Delora, who calls me back to work. So why is Rumpel talking about Lucette to Karma? Yeah, why why of all people is he talking to Karma about this? Day goes on and soon it's almost my break. I go to the front to see if the messenger has returned yet. Shared interest, eh? Given what Elio just said, that's kind of sus. <laughs> they both want to date me. Oh, princess, there's a letter here for you. I did not expect a response. I open it up and stare down at the letter for a long time. Okay, so we didn't actually go to her house and get in a slap fight with her. We just sent her a, a veiled threat. Writing love letters to a secret lover, princess? <laughs> Uncle appears behind me, his smile unusually small. He looks almost hesitant to be standing there. It's not important. I stuff the letter into my pocket and continue working. Oh no, he's gonna like interpret this as her having a secret lover and then things are gonna get awkward between them like, even more, right? For the rest of the day, I ignore Rumple. I don't want him asking about this letter just in case things do not go according to plan. Letter? I hardly know her. Also, why have you been obsessed with characters fighting? Both Heron and Sophie. I don't know, I guess I'm like a WWE, like... Podcast dude. <laughs> and here in the left ring, we see Lucette weighing at, uh, 153 pounds. And in the next corner is Delora, weighing in, like, 180 pounds. I don't know. Predisposed to violence. <laughs> I shouldn't have mentioned Thumb Wrestling Federation. That's right! <laughs> For the rest of the day- oh yeah, I already read that. He's obviously disheartened by my ignoring him. 
and his sadness only persists in making me feel guilty. At the bottom of that corner is Twy, getting stepped on. Sorry, a man can dream. <laughs> this is not something we can know about. Otherwise, he'll try to stop me. I can tell Elio knows everything about wrestling. <laughs> yeah, the one time I watched wrestling. <laughs> I soaked up all the, the, the like, <laughs> knowledge of wrestling just by watching it once. Most everyone has gone to their rooms, including a very saddened Rumple. The only people remaining are Annis and myself. Earlier, Waltz came in and insisted that he speak to Delora and Parfait, and so the three of them are off talking in the other room. Elio Wrestling Stream 1? <laughs> Maybe if I get WWE, I'll do like wrestling matches of me fighting members of my chat. Curiosity gets the better of me, and soon I find myself sweeping closer to the door. I edge it open quietly with my foot so that I can see what's happening inside. You were gonna say lore, weren't you? <laughs> I have 2k19. You wanna go around with Big Z? I don't recommend it. Who's Big Z? I didn't think he was still alive. That is very troubling. Let's fight, L. <laughs> I'll fight you. I'll kick your asses. Do a suplex on you. He must have used a glamour. Oh, are they talking about Metheos? <gasps> but the fact that I didn't realize it was him. That I... Is that the princess I spot peeping through the door? Me fighting members of my chat, given what happened when you asked to fight a kid, I would have to pass on that one. What do you mean? You guys don't want to get in a fight with me? Come on. TLDR, Elio with a gun is the outcome of the bad. Oh, oh, I thought, I thought you were talking about me asking people to punch me and them refusing. You're talking about the time when I got in a fight with someone and brought a pipe to the fight. I see. This is Big Z. He is my original character. Yeah, I brought a crowbar. I'll summon some tokusetsu hero to fight you in my place. <laughs> Does he have a pipe? Though, so, let me see, what is this? Zorlog 2K19. Oh wait, hold on. Just so I don't get copyright struck. What is this? What is with the, the like lighting in this? It looks like, like, someone put, like, a, like a, like, what is it? Like a heat ray. What is this? Oh, okay, now it's back to normal. What is this? Oh my god! Look at this absolute unit! Okay, yeah, that that's gonna be a hard guy to fight. He's got purple skin. He reminds me of Gragnor, but Gragnor had green skin. Amazing. It's a horrible screen filter. <laughs> Sorry, Elio. I don't fight children. Are you calling me a child? I'm not a child. <laughs> hmm? I try to hide, but all of the eyes in the room catch me before I can do so. Do you eavesdrop on people often, Lusa? I had no real reason to eavesdrop on them besides my own curiosity. It's no harm done, Delora. Lisa, are you almost done with your chores? Ever since that conversation with Parfait and Delora, I've noticed that the words Parfait and I speak to each other are strange. Are strained, I can't word. Delora, however, is unchanged. He's gonna be a hard guy to fight, he has purple skin. I'm sorry, that's your standard? Yeah, if your skin is purple, that must mean you got in a lot of fights that your skin is permanently bruised. So that also means that you cannot be bruised by anyone else. You know? I expect sarcasm from her now, but she does not deliver. She simply stands still and looks at me somberly. I am. And what are you talking about? Hiding more things from me? We're talking about the rumors that have been going around about the palace. He's also yoked. Look at him, he's like eight feet tall. Damn, he's almost twice my size. 
What have you heard? Elio, you're ten. I am not ten! You know, for a bit, I thought you were talking about Elio and that's my head cannon. <laughs> what if he's purple because he morphed? Oh my god. <laughs> it's morbid time. That's not how fighting works. I mean... You never know. Have you gotten in enough fights that your your skin is permanently bruised? That the healing process has been permanently fucked up and now you can no longer feel pain? Or he's related to Thanatos. That's, that's true. He could also be related to Thanatos. Don't want to get snapped. Who's the guy in the middle? Looks like a gremlin. <laughs> oh, he's Waltz. He's the last character we're going to date because apparently his root is huge. That starry bunny boy, also known as Lappy. Oh, no! I, I am not the gremlin in the middle. I'm the gremlin on the right. I have lore that he fell into a reactor. It's unbreakable purple diamondium skin. Ooh. I know that if I were permanently bruised, I wouldn't think, oh, gee, now I can't be hurt again. <laughs> I mean, you can't get bruised again if you're permanently bruised. So that's a thing. If all your bones are broken, your bones can no longer get bo broken. So that's a relief. It's over. The pain is over. You can't get more pain inflicted when everything's in pain. Ellie is my favorite gremlin, but he is not my favorite speed gremlin. Who's your favorite speed gremlin? <laughs> I have a right to know what's happening at the palace. We would tell you if we knew for certain, princess. Uh, me? <laughs> You're a speed gremlin? I'm my own favorite speed gremlin? Yo, that's narcissistic. <laughs> this some goddamn Morbius OC shit. <laughs> it's morbid. I am more beginning to morb. Walt sighs as he runs a hand through his hair. I know the timing doesn't seem right, but I really should show myself out. I have a show early morning tomorrow. He glances around at all of us. Got it. I'll break all your bones so that no one can ever hurt you again. What are you, a yandere? Twy? I'm going to excuse myself for the night. Good night, everyone. As he passes by me, he smiles. And to you too, princess. Once again, everyone is being secretive. Why the sour face, princess? Are you worried about what happens to the people in the palace you cared nothing for? Ouch! Hit me where it hurts. I guess I, my skin's not purple, because you can still bruise me. Delora! I'll make Elio in this wrestling game. I don't care. I'll resort to violence. <laughs> Please share screen caps if you do. I want to see how conked I am. Okay, that was uncalled for. Yeah, that was uncalled for. But really, though, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Since you're here now, I may as well say it. No, not a Yandere. I'm never Dede, so Yansun. <laughs> All right. So it says Twy, who earlier was wanting to know what, what game characters were like me to date. I see. Totally not Dede at all. I knew you for one year before I cursed you. I saw what your mother had done to you. And I knew I needed to undo the damage before your birthday. Why is she talking about this now? It's not gonna look good, but hey, it's functional. It'll be functional as long as I can beat people's asses. I don't mind what I look like. <laughs> I called you cruel and wicked when really, I knew that the way you were was caused by the way your mother brought you up. And when we talked about Hildir the other day, I was unfair in what I said to you. We all had to face reality, but... Dolora pauses, looking surprisingly solemn. She sighs, then continues. Of course I'm the best speed gremlin. Tenno michi wo iki subete wo suka Sadoru otoko. <laughs> you big narcissist. That's what you are, will call me. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Don't call me out like that. Well, 
Maybe you should watch what you say, and then I won't call you out then. Hmm, Twy? <laughs> I always knew you had some good in you. I saw it in you when you spoke to your dolls. You have a good heart. <laughs> Many people enjoy flattery, princess, and a lot of people are receptive to flirting. Yo, is Dolora flirting with me? What an interesting fellow. Toilet bound Hanako fandom confuses me. What well, what are the toilet bounders doing right now? <laughs> Maybe you should watch what you say and then I won't call you out. You really wanna go there, Elia? Really? I have an army. Oh your your little clips? You gonna you gonna clip me, huh? Huh, little guy? <laughs> but nothing can measure up to a genuine compliment. Delora just complimented me? Are you flirting with me, Delora? I like it. Thank you. Out of all people, I did not expect Delora to flirt with me. Not when she makes a point of always telling me the blunt truth. Thank you. There's no shock on Parfait and Delora's faces when they smile at me. Oh, here we go. Here's the clips. The clip army. An army is nothing, not in the might of the sussy baka boy. I'm not sussy baka boy! <laughs> Delora compliment? We love to see it. I'm beginning to think you and Delora are alike. You're both stubborn and have good in you, but you hide it behind sarcasm. Hey, Lucette and I are nothing alike. Wait, what happened? Like in game or in chat? <laughs> I feel lighter somehow. I do not know if I have forgiven Delora just yet, but her cursing me has led me to see many things I would not have seen before. I owe her nothing, but I'm still happy, even if the truth hurts. Oh, what's this? My lovely little princess is in here with you too? Some meets are called, wait, what is this? Some Mitsuko fans are angrily protective about Hana Nene having a moment in the manga that paralleled with something that happened with Mitsuko earlier. But I'm like, shouldn't you guys be happy they're having parallels? Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm guessing it's because they don't like the ship that it's paralleling? That's, that's my guess. But it's still weird. Ah, oh, Rumble, you're early tonight. Surprised to see me beautiful? <laughs> In game? Okay, so uh uh so we sent a letter to Rumple's um ex to get in contact with her. I don't know what we talked to her about, but I hope it's to set up a, a fight in the Denny's parking lot. And then we went and talked to Delora and she was apologizing for like being rude to us. And she also said that like in the year that she was with us she knew that, like, we had a good heart, like, deep down underneath. And, like, apologizing for, like, you know, doing the curse and kind of, like, taunting us a little bit. She was, she was being a bit, like, a, what was it, the word? Um, she was kind of picking on us earlier. And she said something but that was a little, little rude, but she, she went and apologized it for it just now. Dolores can be rude to me anytime. <laughs> The most incriminating clip of all. I don't think liking Pilk is that bad, though. She's being a bit, a bit hot, yeah. <laughs> I see, I see, yeah. So that's what's been going on. Mumble's early anxiety is gone. He looks at me with unbridled enthusiasm. I heard the princess thank you from a distance. The words are always more beautiful when leaving her mouth. Eh? So you are also eavesdropping. You two are very alike. That's nice to see. It is. You like what? I like Pilk. Pepsi and milk. It just tastes like root beer. They're like Mitsuko did it first. Hana Nene is stealing from them. So I kind of get it, but I didn't care for me. I just think if the obvious main ship is paralleling your ship, I would have thought, wow, they're saying the Mitsuko moment was equally romantic. Yeah, that's kind of what I was getting reading from it. But I would be happy 
if like so something that was paralleled with like the main ship was paralleled with like my OTP, I would be like, oh wow, they're they're recognizing that the ship that I ship is like, you know, romantic. I don't think liking Pilk is that bad, Elio Lappy, before getting cancelled. Oi! Elio, this is unacceptable. Why? Speaking of reading, you made me read Oshinoko. <gasps> what did you think of it? Yeah, I read that one. Yes, I read Oshinoko. I recommended it, I think, last stream? Not at all. You read that one? Yes! Rumpel leans towards me and smiles. That one? Really? Wait, what's what's bad about Oshinoko? The idol the idol manga? I mean I've been reading it too. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, is there something bad about Oshinoko? <laughs> but yeah, I, I really like Oshinoko. It's a good manga. I really like the art style and everything. Zero out of ten ongoing means I have to wait a while for next chapter. <laughs> So, is the the plot gripping you, Twy? <laughs> Have you I really like the the new things that are going on with the the recent arc. I'm really enjoying it. You have a physical copy of the first volume somehow. Oh wow. So you must really like it, huh, Kibis? You did that to me with Spy X Family too. Oh, so you watched Spy X Family? <sighs> I'm happy. <laughs> oh yay! I chose the right option. Good. My dream is to one day hear those words from you too, because you say them as gentle as the wind. <laughs> if you're here to talk to Parfait about medicine, then I'm out. Lisette, you should leave too. I read it a while ago, yeah. Oh, nice! I, I, I hope that... Well, since most anime seasons go for two episodes, I doubt we'll get to see her, but if you know the character I'm talking about, Twy, I'm like a massive simp for her. Um, the one that'll appear at some point soon, where the anime is at. Like, she appears after Yuri. I'm happy Crystal appears. Oh, I guess I chose the right option. <laughs> I don't like the latter chapters as much, but the first volume was the good content. Yeah, it can, it can like, vary in quality in Oshinoko, but I'm genuinely enjoying the ride. The minimum height in wrestling games is 5'6". Oh yeah, let's go, I'm tall. I think I know who you mean, lol. She's great. Yes. <laughs> the Twilight simp. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> well then, sleep well, beautiful maidens. Yes, Spikes family! I'm, I'm excited. I think the new episode should have come out today, right? I gotta watch that later. I quickly finish my chores and return to my room, where I lay on my bed contemplating tomorrow. Yeah, the twi... <laughs> simp. <laughs> I can't believe Bria wrote back to me. Tomorrow I'll meet with her, and hopefully she'll agree to give me his journals. I wanna watch with you. <gasps> guys wanna do a Spy X Family watch-along then at some point? I know we're gonna do a Bad Guys watch-along too. I also gotta do a dot hack sign watch along sometime, too. I hope this works. For Rumpel's sake. Yes! Ooh! Also, did you know Oshinoko is getting an anime? Oh, Chevalier. Today I'm outside by myself. I think if Parfait Delora knew, they would do worse than scold me. I forget what Chevalier means. The anime? Yeah, Oshinoko's getting an anime! It got announced somewhat recently. And that was actually kind of the thing that got me to read the manga. And then I was like, whoa, this is cool, I'm looking forward to the anime. Oh, Chevalier is night. Someone's gonna... Are, are we gonna see our childhood friend this chapter then? Cause he's a knight. I shuffle uncomfortably as I sit at the little cafe Bria told me to wait for her at. A part of me is already convinced that she'll not come. When I wrote her that letter asking for Rumpel's journals and she responded so easily, I was a little suspicious, but... The thing that got me to read the manga is this... 
simp I like watching. Oh, who who could possibly be that? <laughs> This is really the only chance I have. I haven't really watched anime much recently, so I don't know what's coming up and what's not. Yeah, it's weird, because like, I'm kind of up to date on anime and kind of not, because I don't really watch a lot of anime. Like, The only anime this season I'm watching is uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush and Spy X Family. <laughs> When's the Elio anime adaptation? God. You know what I really want? I, I want to like save up money and hire someone to do like a, a video on my channel that's like a backstory. It wouldn't be like an anime, it would be more like an animatic, but I really want one really badly. Like I have the storyboard written up and everything. I just need to have money to pay someone to do it for me. <laughs> you like anime? Name all anime. <laughs> do... American cartoons that look like anime count. Same, only looking forward to two upcoming anime, yeah. Like, whenever Oshinoko season is, I'm gonna be watching that for sure. That sounds cool, yee. The only chance you'll have at what? Eh. Bria appears in front of me, not looking altogether unpleased, but still not smiling. Nothing. I don't like her, but I'll have to play nice if I want to get Rumpel's journals back. Oh, we're gonna get in a fist fight. Thank you for meeting me out here. Rhea takes a seat in front of me. Her expression's still flat. What did you just ask? Wait. Wait, what did I say? <laughs> You asked me in your letter why I was refusing to speak to Rumpel, and then you told me you wanted to meet with me to find out why. You want the journals too, don't you? She reaches into a bag and pulls out a few journals that I assume are Rumpel's. If only I could split myself. I could do it for you, but honestly, videos feel like so much work. Yeah, that's the thing. That's why like, I want to save up quite a lot before I can even ask anyone about it. Because I... Let me bring up my storyboard real fast. Because it would have like landscape pictures too and everything. Because I want I want to show the planet. So I wrote down details about my planet on it. Like what I want it to look like and stuff. Where is it? What did I name my file for? Oh, I named... that. That's great, Elio. I named my file for the storyboard E. Okay, so that's one shot. That's one shot. One shot. Four, five. Six. Seven. Yeah, that, that, that'll be like a, a, quite a few drawings. I guess it's for Elio. TLDR, you were this close to calling Avatar the last airbender in anime. <laughs> I, it's so funny how people get in arguments about like anime and stuff. And then they're like, it has to be Japanese. But then they'll turn around and call Genshin an anime game. <laughs> how long in minutes do you think it'll be? Oh, let me see. I was thinking it would be like either one or two minutes. How long in seconds, actually? Um, I'd say like a minute and 30 seconds, maybe? I'm not sure. It would be like one of those, like, you know, like for popular VTubers, they're like debut video. It'd be kind of like that. Anime is essentially short for animation, LMAO, good ol' weebs. Yeah, anime just means animation, and manga just means comic. In, at least in Japanese. It gains a different meaning in America, or like in other countries that refer to anime as strictly Japanese, or manga as strictly Japanese comics. But in Japan, they'll call everything that's animated anime, and in Japan, they'll call anything that's a comic manga. So would you say Spongebob is an anime, hmm? In Japan it would! Daisuke no anime wa? Dou desu ka? 
SpongeBob です。Cory in the House still isn't an anime. You know, Cory in the House isn't. But if it gets animated, it would be an anime. So she does have them. I know in your eyes, I must seem the villain. But I'm not the only one at fault in this relationship. Elio, I'm letting Okami slide with that, but not you. Why? King of the Hill has debates in Japan about sub or dub. I think South Park does as well. King of the Hill is a really big anime in Japan, apparently. I hate that. <laughs> We're not so different after all, you and I. Years ago, when I met Rumpel, he was as he is now. Flirtatious, charming, over the top, and yet his compliments still made my heart sore. Guess it would be that bad for an animatic, or if you do some kind of motion graphics animation, maybe? I wasn't planning like motion graphics. If anything, I would want like one shot to have like the body in space. Like there's one shot of like a body floating in space, and I would just want like the shot of the body to be separated as like a transparent so I can just drag it. In my editor to make it look like it's floating. Yeah, it has an ending after all. <laughs> Friendship ended with Elio. Now anyone else is my best friend. I'm just stating the facts here, Twy. I'm sorry that the facts are upsetting to you. His compliments may be shallow, but Rumpel is far from it. I pined after him for years. He was learning medicine, and I was studying to take over my mother's sewing shop. In the first years that I knew him, Rumpel always complimented my work, even though it was nothing special. He insisted we do trade-offs. When we started dating, he would offer me flowers and trinkets, and in exchange I would sew him some articles of clothing. I'm just stating the facts, okay? You asked for it, Lagomorph! Oi! Your, your clips do nothing to me! <laughs> they do nothing but make me happy to see that I, I am getting clipped! Ha ha! Destroying Twy with facts and logic. <laughs> Honestly, it is pretty- it makes me pretty happy to see whenever people, like, when I look in the clips and I see people make clips, because that's like, I said something that made people want to clip it. Even if it was something that was embarrassing, at least I did something that was entertaining to someone, you know? As opposed to destroying Twy with lies and insanity, as I would. <laughs> Do you know what that clip was, though? Let me see. Elio in denial. What is this? It's from Doki Doki. What's this clip? It's been so long. Clowns are very entertaining. I'm not a clown! clip of the whole stream if that was the case but alas that's apparently not legal <laughs> so much about only stating facts that is a fact that I like now yeah that scarf was from Bria we fell in love uncle became a changed man more serious he became a doctor, and I opened up a shop. We were supposed to have a fairy tale ending, but... Her expression falls again as she looks absently down at the table. We saw in each other's ideals that didn't exist. Love can be shallow, or it can be deep. I felt our love was deep, but in truth, I only ever knew the very surface of Rumpel. I is not even that bad. I'm sorry, could it be you're not talking about Desu Naya? 
I would get into this with you, Twy, but that would be spoilers for Devil Survivor. But you should know. You should know when I say now is not that, not even that bad. Why I stand with that belief. Sorry, but L gets a pass for being a space ro rabbit. <laughs> I almost said space robot. <laughs> I'm in space. Yeah, I know that now he is terrible. He's not that bad though. He's not that bad. Okay, he's he's terrible in a sexy way. Okay, he's terrible in a sexy way. Oh, you're terribly sexy, sir. Can I hold your tits? The surface? Oh wait, was that not what you meant? <laughs> Space rabbits can shoot projectiles from their fingers, and one can cause insanity from their eyes. Don't want to mess with Elio too much. Hell yeah! <laughs> Rayson is my sibling. Twice removed. I saw his kindness, his charm, and his drive to do what was right. But then, as time went on, I also saw what that meant. Time for down bad Elio 4. <laughs> Which racing? Racing Udongin Inaba. <laughs> the world is a place where only the strong survive. People are kind, but they will take advantage of those who are too caring. But I guess racing is also related to me if racing Udongin Inaba is related to me too. <laughs> And all the other Raisins. Okay, so what you're saying is that your name also used to be Raisin. Yes. But then I changed it to Elio to set myself apart. <laughs> I shudder as I think about Mother's pessimism. The same kind that lies in me. It is a realistic way of looking at the world, but it's also so dismal and cloudy that it's impossible to see any light within it. Rumpel helped a lot of people. Many of them were wonderful people, and I was always happy to see him do so much. But then... He started putting other people above himself. And because we lived together, that meant me as well. Fair enough. Uh, speaking of, since we were talking about, like, my, my backstory, I do have, like, a... Like, a cameo by someone that I have planned as, like... My backstory being related to me. I came up with a name for her and everything. Her name's Stella. I like made a design for her and everything. So hopefully I can do a video for that someday so I can show off her design. Maybe it sounds petty to you, but no woman wants to live in poverty. I look at her skeptically. In the back of my mind, I remember the convenience of luxury of so much money. I then recall the feeling of living poor on the streets in Flinch. We had a house, and we had a reputation, but Rumpel refused money most of the time. He helped lots of poor people, but he also dried out our wallets. For a second, I thought you were gonna say Space Barn, whose also name is Racin. <laughs> Barn House's secret name is Racin. <laughs> And whenever I brought it up to him, he would smile, as if that could just get rid of all of our problems. He made a name for himself as a doctor who helped the poor for minimal money, sometimes for free. And then people took advantage of him, I'm guessing. And even when I told him we needed more money, he put other people first. I do admire this about Rumpel. I do admire that he, he does this for people. But you also have to, like, balance that kind of, like, kindness out. To, like, put your foot down and, like, do stuff that costs money as well. It's rough. It's rough to say no to someone when you want to help everyone out. But sometimes you have to say no to someone because it will impact you negatively, you know? Like, you need, a, you need to look out for yourself as much as you look out for other people. Oh, well, damn. He just like me. For real, for real. <laughs> he was so selfless that he became selfish. And I told him before that he should have accepted money, that he needed it. 
so selfless that he became selfish. I had to go behind his back and find payment. What I was making wasn't enough. I was called the most selfish, selfless person before. Oh, wow, really? Sometimes you have to say no to someone. Got it, I'll do it. Elio, no, now he is bad. Also, damn bad, Elio, for denial is not just a river. <laughs> Die! <laughs> Someday we gotta compile all these down bad Elio clips into a down bad Elio compilation. <laughs> Oh my god. So I went to find his patients and tried to ask for payment. I became almost like a beggar. Can you imagine my humiliation? Rumpel put his patients before Bria. I do think it's beautiful that Rumpel does this. I think it's nice to help people out that really need it. But yeah. You need to balance yourself out to look out for yourself. You can't be helping someone if you're bleeding yourself dry. I was convinced he didn't love me, and my love dwindled for him. Our relationship became strained. Bria goes on to explain the events that happened between her and the nobleman. He was one of Rumpel's patients, and when she went to, ask, went to him to ask for the money he had originally offered, the two of them became intimate. But it was short-lived, and when the nobleman left her behind, Bria had to deal with a soured reputation. Oh, He messed up by burdening those around him with his selflessness. Yeah, you gotta realize that, like, not everyone else will do the things that you're doing as well. Like, it's also bad for the person's self-confidence and stuff in a way, yeah. You, you can't, like, be so kind to the point that people take advantage of you. You know? It's good to be kind. It's good to want to be kind to other people. But you have to be sturdy as well. Yeah, people don't want to feel like a burden. Mm. So he, he should have seen that, like, his kindness was also hurting the people around him. And try and do something about that. While still keeping his kindness. Like, I still think he could help people out for like free or for minimal money, but just don't like do it that much. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how to solve this, but like, yeah. I mean, A, if A is always nice to B, it might hurt B since it'll make them feel worthless. Yeah, you need to give B a chance to like do something on their own, you know? It, it's like helicopter parents, like sure, Sure, you're being nice to your child, but you're you're actively limiting that child's chance for growth by doing that. I wanted to make it up to Rumpel. I thought I could salvage this relationship. Maybe even start over and teach him what was right, but... That's not my place. Yeah, sometimes you... That's the, that's the rough thing about, like, maturing is sometimes you have to get put into situations that you didn't like so that you could learn to grow, like face that adversity on your own and not have someone just take it away from you without without realizing it, you know? Like you have to deal with unpleasant things to grow as a person. Like you wouldn't be here if you didn't. I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying, but it's like that whole debate, like, you know, uh, if you were able to erase your memories of like a bad part in your life, you wouldn't be the same person that like, like the debate is, would you be the same person that you are today if you erased those bad things? Because those bad things, even though they were bad, it helped you grow as a person. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. She sighs deeply and then gestures at me. I sure blame in all of us too. And so does Rumpel. And that's why I've decided to let this all go. Whatever he does now, you'll have to deal with, because you're his partner, right? Bria hands me the bag of journals. Insert the more you know thing here. <laughs> Don't look so surprised. You came here for these, not to listen to me. Yeah, no matter how much I want, I shouldn't erase my memories of Elio liking Pilk. <laughs> Yeah, Pilk is a, a defining character trait for me. You gotta, you gotta accept me. 
for all that I am. Even the loving pilk part of me. <laughs> I thought on it last night and I have no reason to keep them around when they'll just continue making me better. I'll have to rely on myself for a while, but that's fine. Sometimes it's easier to keep to yourself than to trust others. She moves to stand up, but I surprise myself by reaching out to grab her hand. Uh, Bria. I don't need your pity. I thought the same thing. What? I still think the same thing. It's so much easier to close the world off. It's so much easier to trust no one but yourself, but... It should also be a balance. That's what Rumpel has taught me. And I want to teach him how to have balance, too. You? You're falling for his kindness the same way I did. You fell in love with him, even though you told yourself he was shallow and unrealistic. <laughs> my heart thumps once, loudly in my chest. Love? Yeah, we have been feeling bad about being friend-zoned. <laughs> I can read it right off your face. I know how it feels too, but... Don't get wrapped up in an ideal little girl. That is my warning. If you can help him, actually help him. Then you're meant to be together. But otherwise, trusting Rumpel might only break your heart. I am not a little girl. I know how to be realistic. My words trail off as I look at her helplessly. Bria surprises me by speaking up quietly. Thank you for listening to me. She pulls her hand away and slowly smiles at me. This is the first honest smile I've seen on her face. I feel something warm at my chest, and then a bright light emanates from my necklace. <gasps> oh, we did a good deed! Uh, a good deed? For listening to Bria, or...? I glance down at the bag of journals, then down at my necklace. We did a good deed! Let's go! I touch the pendant. The new piece brings a brief smile to my lips. I have two good deeds now. Only one more and then I can break my curse. Magic? Is this another fairy tale curse? Yes. Your name was Lucette, wasn't it? Rumble talked about you fondly. I hope that the two of you break your curse. I can't read. That the both of you break your curses. Good luck. Bria walks away, leaving me by myself in the town square. On... Uh, uh, I, I don't know how to word this, Bionic. Uh, but, like, I don't want to pressure people into talking in chat if they don't feel like talking kind of thing. Like, I don't mind people lurking and watching, you know? <laughs> so you, got, you guys don't gotta be active in chat if you're, not, if you're not feeling it. If you just wanna enjoy the story, that's good too. My mind swirls with everything that she just told me. I still cannot bring myself to like Bria, but I feel more closure now. But now something new plagues my mind. How could I fall in love with someone like Rumpel? The more I say it, the more it becomes a certainty. But rather than fill me with joy, it only makes me more confused. I cannot think about this now. I turn on my heels to head back and bump promptly into a man. <gasps> oh, oh, it's him! Oh, sorry, madam. He smiles at me and then keeps walking. <gasps> I want to enjoy the store Elio. It's also fun if you want to enjoy Elio getting bullied slash teased and being called cute. <laughs> Is that character a... A, a, a zombie? <laughs> I don't know who he is, but he is... He's mad fine, is what he is. <laughs> I love him. Alright, it looks like we must be getting near the end of the story then if he's appearing. <laughs> I stare after him, feeling slightly uncomfortable. With the mask and cloak, that man reminded me of a performer. Elio, I already made a down bad clip. 
everyone is down bad for him, though. Not character. Char. Oh, Char Azanbul. That's... Oh, their name is Char? I made my way back to the Marchan with the bag of journals, still struggling to keep my mind from wandering. Every time I think about Rumpel being so close to me, or his kindness towards me, I feel jittery inside. Oh, it's a Gundam character. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Char came to laugh at us. <laughs> Despite everything that Bria said, I cannot stop these feelings. Hold on, let me Google them. Char is a Zamble. Char is Zamble. Does he really look like him? Let me see. Oh, this dude! I've seen this dude before. I, I I don't know where I've seen him, but I have seen this character before. I like him. He's cool. He's really cool. Yeah, I like this character. I don't know much about him, but I've seen him before and I like him. These feelings are annoying. Yet, even as I think that, I know it's not the full truth. Do I really... It's got that classic 90s design going on for him. I really like 90s anime designs. I don't respect Char enough to give him that. <laughs> Is Char a bad character? Is he like a villain? I hear the Marchen's door opening and out steps Waltz. The minute he sees me, his eyes widen and he runs towards me. I mean, that's like saying you've seen, say, Ray from Evangelion. I love Rei. Rei's my favorite Evangelion character, other than Kawodu. He's Japan's Darth Vader in terms of pop culture. Wow. So that, that must be how I've seen him then. Char is a very well-written character. Very hateable. <laughs> I gotta watch Gundam someday. I don't know much, but I'm guessing you'd love him, you problematic character sim. <laughs> Princess, where were you? I don't like every villain. Jeez. I don't like... Mm. Shut up. Shut up. I was running an errand. I hold up the bag, but it does little to ease Waltz's frustration. We were all looking for you, and we got worried that the witches had found you. Rumpel already went out into town. Eh? There's an entire trope called Char Clone after him. You'll like almost every Char Clone, L. Oh god. Am I calling you a problematic character and a simp or a simp for problematic characters? I don't like every villain. What do you think about Naya? Naya is not a villain! Naya is not a villain. He is a complex character with complex motivations that some could see as evil but others could see as not evil. He's not a villain. Like, you could say Polaris is a villain, but would you say Anguish One is a villain or Yamato a villain? I don't think so. Now he's not a villain. Now he is the greatest villain of our time. Also, since I know you're watching Zexel with Yume, I made the prediction that you'll end up loving a character that they hate. What's their name? Because I like Kite, so far. What? I'll go... I will fight you for dragging Anguished One into this. <laughs> My point still stands, Twy! Please, Princess. Stay inside, Quattro. I don't think I've seen Quattro yet. I think I would notice, since their name sounds like a number. Yume loves Kite. I also love Kite. Kite is very simple. He's like a villain, but also he's doing it for like, like to help out his family and all that. And like, love those complicated villain characters, man. <laughs> I'll go get Rumble. My mood feels completely dashed as I enter the march end to whispers, both relieved and disappointed. Surprisingly, I get away with just a lecture from Delora and Parfait. Elle would love Char-O. You meant a different quattro. Oh, 
He's like a villain. Gee, what a surprise. You love a villainish character. Love those complicated villain characters. I know, Elio, I know. Also, back on to the thing about Naya, though. The reason why Naya is not a villain is because a villain is, like, what... Okay, so... A villain is equal to a hero. The The villain is the antagonist of the hero's life. The villain is the one that makes the hero's life, like, terrible and and all that. But, like, Naya isn't quite that for Kazuya. Like, yeah, he does things to Kazuya. But you could argue... You could argue that uh, the real villain of Devil Survivor is... Hold on, I'm typing. Okay, there you go. Light Yagami is a villain. Okay, that- oh shit. I- 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 I suppose you're right. I suppose you're right. Emerging antagonist and villain. I suppose, but I still don't- I still don't quite see Naya as like a villain. Cause he's doing it- I don't know, I just- I don't really see Naya as a villain. I could see him as, like, a morally fucked up character that, like, does things that are bad, but, like, I just can't see myself calling him a villain. And that's coming from someone that loves villains. I don't know why I feel that with Naya, but I just don't feel like he's a villain. Your simping is blinding you. <laughs> It seems as if there's something else on their mind. Something that most likely involves the rumors circulating around town. But also, at the same time, Naya's giving you the things to, like, fight against things. Yeah. I can see what y what you just said, Twy. Yeah, I would say that the, the big, like, villains. Yeah, Naya being the least antagonist of the three. Yeah. Yeah, I see the last one as the most villainous of the group. And then, you know, like... We, we've already got into the first boss battle, so I'll, I'll say that that boss in, in place of the one that Twy just said. Belder. Like, you could... You definitely 100% Belder is a villain. Char also gave Amuro the tech to fight him. Doesn't make him not a villain. Oh, you're right. Okay, so yeah, I guess, I guess now he is an antagonist, but he's the weakest of the antagonists. And if you go with his route, he's not, he's not really an antagonist. But like, if you go Amane's route, definitely, he would be an antagonist for Amane's route. I wait downstairs for a long time for Rumpel, but neither him nor Waltz appear. He's the weakest. I was saying the least antagonistic, but yeah, he's weak. I, I will 100% say that Naya is a bitch-ass bully that, that is weak as hell. He can get quenched in a second. Just break his bones immediately. Look at his fucking brittle bones. All he does is eat ramen all day. Like, Kazuya has to come to his house, cook dinner for him. Because all he does is sit in front of his computer and type away on his little computer, eating his stupid little ramen. I hate this, man. God, I want to make out with him. Anyway, back to the game. I retire to my room later as I wait for news. Waltz eventually returns, saying that Rumpel is still out because he had things he wanted to do. I have no idea what that means, but it unsettles me. Should I go find him? I mean, this is a Tome game, so, uh, chase after your love. Simp. <laughs> I am. I am. I'm proud of it. Also, thank you for the hydrate, Okami. Thank you for... <laughs> Quenching my thirst. You already said twy. Why are you repeating yourself with simp? <laughs> I 
L is the simp, but you are too. <laughs> I stand and stop for a few minutes to look at the bag of journals inside my bed. And here I was looking forward to giving those journals to him. I make my way towards the door, turn the knobs, and then walk outside. Princess! Nothing can quench the thirst of Elu and Twy. <laughs> Okay, I'm making Russell Elliot. I'm kind of feeling like a genius. I'd say I'm doing pretty good with what I have. <gasps> Ooh, I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to see it, dwarf. Glad you're realizing you're a genius, dwarf. Yes. Also, massive difference between Naya and Yamato is that Yamato was by our side most of the game. Yeah, although you could still say Yamato is an antagonist. Uh, especially for, like, Anguish one route and all that. He would be an antagonist for that since you fight against him. But that's the same... No, I really don't. I, I really don't think that argument applies for Yamato, actually. Like, no, no, yeah, no. It it, it really is just the Septentrions for, for Devil Survivor 2. Antagonist could also be by your side the whole way. Yeah, only to stab you in the back at the end. Before I can even think about saying anything, I feel his warmth envelop me and I freeze. One of his hands moves to the small of my back, where it remains as his smile as he smiles down on me. That's the complicated thing about Devil Survivor is it goes into, like, I wouldn't say identity? Uh... Ideals? Wars of ideals. So like on one certain ideal route, you could see someone as a villain because they are actively going against your ideal, kind of. That's kind of in reality. That's with reality too. You look at someone that's say on the different pers like the different side of like your, your politics and you'll, you'll think of them as a villain because they're working against your ideals, and in some cases, they, they straight up want you to die, kind of thing. Massive Desu 2 spoil- oh yeah, I'm not gonna say that out loud. <laughs> not- no, he is not an incel! How is he an incel? <laughs> but yeah, I can see what you're saying, Twy. I caught you just in time, my feisty sweet. Did you plan on escaping into the dead of night again? Who is he being an incel towards? Kazuya? Have words abandoned you in wake of my dramatic appearance? He's mad because you pick X over him. Okay. <laughs> I kind of understand, but that's so weird to say that he's an incel towards his cousin. Then again, that applies to both. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Hibiki, you didn't pick me. So are you saying Yamato is also an incel? Okay, now, now when you call Yamato an incel, I can understand it. <laughs> I heard we pry myself away with a little gasp. A few steps back, I can see him in full, and I notice the bouquet he carries. Oh! <gasps> I'm glad to see you're back, princess. I'm only sorry that I couldn't make it back here any faster. Yamato's an incel, but he has the right to. <laughs> what is the right? How, how did he get the rights to being an incel? I had a few errands of my own to run in town. Rumpel holds out the bouquet with a glittering smile. Like buying these flowers for the girl that I really like, for instance. Yo, he was getting like... Tips from Karma on, like, how to date Lucette, wasn't he? I stare down at the beautiful bouquet made up of white lilies, but the appearance slowly leaves my mind as I think of what Rumpel just said. He bought them for a girl he likes, not for me. Oh my god, she is in friend zone mode. Oh. Lucette's an incel. <laughs> my heart feels as if it might be pierced through with something sharp. My breath escapes my throat, but I cannot bring myself to inhale again. Yamato is the kind of incel that's just bitter and cold to everyone. 
Nalia is the kind of incel that's an ass to those he loves. Objection, Twy. Yamato's not like that to Hibiki. He's a tsundere for Hibiki. <laughs> Rumpel looks at me in alarm. Lucette. I'll nudge him out of the way and walk past him. Oh, girl, I am cringing so hard. That was his way of saying that. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> you ever just feel so much, like, uh, is it secondhand embarrassment that it actually pains you? He got that bouquet to tell her that he loves her the most. It was white lilies, you idiot! Lucette! You know he knows that you like white lilies. He gave you a white lily chocolate. And you think that he's giving it to someone else. Oh my god. He went up to your room with a bouquet. Oh, you idiots. You actual idiot. Oh, I'm in so much pain right now. Oh. And then she walked past him, all frustrated. And that probably sent the message to Rumple that she doesn't reciprocate. Ah! A hundred level density. Oh my god. Oh lord. I make my way to the reception area where I collapse onto one of the couches and sit staring blankly at the walls. The feelings inside of me are too much all at once. I tell myself they do not make any sense and that the way I reacted to what Rumpel said was pitiful. Yeah, I sure was pitiful, you idiot! And yet still I cannot stop my felt self from feeling small. I sink into the couch and close my eyes, willing away the sound of my rapidly beating heart and the tears stinging the edges of my eyes. I'm not weak. I will not cry. Mother told me. But the thought of mother makes my tears worse, and soon I'm sinking even further into the couch, trying to hide my tear-stained face into my hands. Oh. You actual idiot. I'm in so much pain. Sorry, Elio. As I like to say, denser than a black hole. <laughs> me when idiot again. Sorry. Oh, no! <laughs> Brain deactivated. Secondhand embarrassment is real. This is so painful. I hate secondhand embarrassment. I got here and Elio just called me an idiot. What did I do now? No ID. You came in at like a big idiot moment for Lucette. It's so stupid what she just did. Mother. Bria. They both said the same things. I hate secondhand embarrassment. Elio, you don't need to say you hated me. <laughs> Your secondhand embarrassment? <laughs> they both see the bad in people, and I too have seen the bad in them. When I was on the streets, no one on, on GL showed me my kindness. So yeah, listen here, Idy. Listen to this bullshit. So fucking Rumpel, right? He comes into Lucette's room with a bouquet of white lilies which has been established before by Lucette even saying, white lilies are my favorite flower. And he gave her white lily chocolates in the past. So like the obvious reaction would be, hey, he got me a bouquet of flowers because he's coming into my room with my favorite flowers. And then he says, a bouquet for the most important girl in the world. And so she's like, oh, it's not for me. And then she gets all upset, runs out of her room, and starts crying. And I'm just like, ah, I'm not picking up on what he's laying down. I feel like you might be able to make the same mistake under the right circumstances. True. It's just like, oh... It's so, oh. People will never show you kindness unless there's something in it for them. They'll never, 
feel sudden warmth as arms wrap around me. I recognize the sensation, the warmth, the comfort. It's all so comforting, so soothing. Doesn't make it any less embarrassing. Exactly. I've done that before. I have too. I've been a big dumbass. And that's part of why this gives me secondhand embarrassment for not picking up on cues people give me when they're like trying to romantically pursue me and stuff. I, I've definitely done the same thing as Lucette here. Well, not so much the thinking that he likes someone else and getting upset about that, but like not picking up on the cues, definitely. I was at uni with a friend and I had to wait a while before meeting up with my sister and she said something like, Oh yeah, would you be interested in going to X? Oh, did you like interpret it as like a date? I was like, oh, is she giving me a suggestion of where I should go? Oh! But she was like asking you out on a date? Was that it? No, she was asking me if I wanted to hang out. Oh, I see. I must be the worst person in the world to make such a beautiful lady cry is a sin that I must atone for. My body stiffens, but I don't pull away. Well, not a date, but I still completely misunderstood. <laughs> and you thought she was telling you where to go with your, with your sister, but she was asking you to go somewhere with her. <laughs> I listen to the sound of his heartbeat against my ear, and slowly but surely, my crying dies away. My eyes are sore by the time I finally manage to still the tears. I feel drowsiness descend upon me like a blanket, but I'll not fall asleep. Why did I just say that? <laughs> slowly, I pry myself from the arms holding me. It's okay, Twy, it's okay. TLDR, I'm a dumbass. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. We, we all make those mistakes. <laughs> Hello, my love. I call that a dame dame moment. <laughs> dame yo, dame nana yo. I messed up again, didn't I? I did not see the bouquet in his hands, but a journal. One of the journals I brought back for him from Bria. You're capable of a lot more good than I am, princess. Just look at this. He reaches out and touches my necklace. I glance down at it. I call that embarrassing. <laughs> I call that a bra moment. Also, that's why I called myself first-hand embarrassment. Yes, I leveled up. <laughs> oh my god. But that that's not... That's not the worst secondhand embarrassment thing I've ever heard about Twy. It's pretty it's pretty lax, honestly. <laughs> you got my journals back for me. I saw them in your room. And I feel it that this one, the most recently dated one, is the one that I need to unlock my final memory. Hold up, did you just roast me? No, I just lightly toasted you. Yeah, it's not the worst. It really isn't. It's not that bad. I grasp the second incomplete glass slipper around my neck and breathe out softly. Then, this really is from retrieving Rumpel's journals for him. I got a good deed for finally doing something good for Rumpel. Would you allow me to read it with you? He reaches out and gently brushes a tear from my face. You did all of this for me, and you barely know anything about me. That makes both of us. Elio, cutest streamer, no debate. Oh my god, it's the person that made me cry just now. Hello, blinded. Welcome to the stream where we're dating you. <laughs> did you say not the worst thing I've heard about Twy, or not the worst thing I've heard about Twy? With the comma, I meant the comma, Twy. <laughs> I mean, still better than a girl cheating on her BF and trying to make her moves on me. That's the worst kind. Oh, jeez, that's terrible. Yeah, not the first one. Not the first one. The one with the comma, Twy. I meant the one with the comma. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind, I want to read out this entire... this entry for you. I nod, even though I would be shaking my head. 
Even though I should still be hurt, I cannot stay mad at Rumpel. On this night, I am a poor man. Everything that is precious to me has been stolen away by that witch. Rumpel's voice catches in his throat as he stares at the words. I look over his shoulder at the journal. I thought you were saying the first one, which is why I thought I was roasted. No! <laughs> I was really just saying it's not that bad. Elio, how are you feeling today, cutie pie? I'm doing okay. I was doing a lot of work earlier. Uh, and my leg still hurts from the bike accident. But otherwise, it's been a pretty chill day. I was ready to call the fireman for that burn. Whew. Yeah, that, that sucks, ID. I'm sorry you had to deal with that. I've had people, like... I never had people, like, do that to me, but I have had people, like, try to pressure me into dating them. Like, I told you guys about my... What happened in, uh... What was it? Ninth grade? Yeah, Elio tweeted about it. It was funny. Yeah! <laughs> mm. I meant... I mean, not funny, very unfortunate. Hmm? <laughs> very unfortunate. Yeah, I, I fell on a, a dip in the road while I was riding on my bike and I, I crashed on, on the street. Elio's physical pain is not funny. Yeah! Listen to Okami. Which, was he already cursed when he wrote this? But I have no one to blame but myself. Bria told me before that I would suffer for my selflessness. So now, I find myself here. And now, because of that same selflessness, Bria is sick and I cannot save her. There's only one thing left to do. I have wronged Bria in so many ways. Now I will give anything it takes to save her. Oh wow. No matter what price the witch asks, I will pay for it. I only hope that Bria can forgive me before she leaves. <gasps> Did he give up his memories to, like, heal her? I will write again when the witch has left. I swear that after today I will change for good. I will not ask the witch to perform any more miracles. Rumpel's finger goes to the page, where he softly touches a single word. His eyes have the glazed look in them that they had before. You can tell his memories are snapping back together. Ooh. I hope you're feeling better. It's all right. Like, I'm still having like a bunch of like liquid come from it. So I gotta change my bandages every day. Very sticky. For tonight, good night. And may tomorrow be a better morning. I read the last word, a name and a signature. Rumpel reads it aloud slowly. Chevalier Dumont. Your name is Chevalier? Oh! So he's the Chevalier. He looks up at me, his eyes forlorn, and then with sadness, he speaks. That's right. We got two knights in this game, huh? It's so strange. It's just a different name, and yet it seems to change him completely. It's just like with Karma. I remember everything now. I wonder, did the name of the root change with his name change? Because it did that with Karma's root. Yep, it did. <laughs> now we're in Chevalier, Chapter 8. <laughs> I was given the Rumpelstiltskin curse because I sacrificed too much. First, it was the boy, the one we saw in the market. I struck a deal with a woman to save him. A witch. He mentioned striking a deal with a woman, but a witch. Oh, okay. I can kind of see the Rumpelstiltskin thing then. Because, like, Rumpelstiltskin was the person that a, a girl that was captured asked to, like, asked them to, like, spin golden wool for her. Right? That was the Rumpelstiltskin story, right? I can see how this applies to him now. I don't have the ability to heal. None of us do. Except for one particular witch who calls herself the Witch Doctor. Witch... Doctor? Is something wrong? Hmm, that name just sounds familiar. The Witch Doctor? It's no wonder I recognize the name, but yes, it was her. 
She promised she could heal the boy, but for a price. I had to give her a family heirloom, my family's stethoscope. Is he thinking of the song? What song? <laughs> Next was a nobleman. I could not help him, and so he lay in his bed, dying. The witch visited again, and I gave her what she asked for. What did you give her? Yeah, this is really like the Rumpelstiltskin story, because I think he said, like, in exchange for him doing, like, gold, that he would have her first child when she gets pregnant. <laughs> Sono Chino Kyoku, the fourth Jojo OP? Yeah, I am. Why? <laughs> hey? Sono Chino Salame. My engagement ring. Bria found out. She told me she'd never forgive me. And then she chased the nobleman to ask for the money we desperately needed, and. Well, you know the rest. Nani? Sonochino Sadame is the first one. Well, I like Sonochino Sadame. <laughs> he gave away things that were precious to him. All to help those people. Then Bria got sick. I made one last deal with the witch because I was desperate to save her life. But it wasn't until after she healed Bria that she told me what she wanted. Elio, I will sit you down and force you to listen to Sonochi no Kyoku. I'll listen to it. Don't worry. I'll listen to it. <laughs> she wanted your memories. I don't remember what happened exactly. I think I panicked because I suddenly lost my memories. I ran out into the alleys, bumped my head on something, fell unconscious. It's unironically one of my favorite songs. Ooh. Yeah, I will definitely have to listen to it then. Because, despite Twy being Twy, you have really good tastes. <laughs> There's your burn. Elio, I will sit you down and make you watch Gundam Build Fighters. The more I see you talk about Gundam, Okami, the more it makes me want to watch Gundam. I think I only watched, like, one Gundam. I think it was Gundam Seed? I think that's the one I watched. Elio is complimenting my tastes. <laughs> Rumple, Chevalier's expression grows more somber. I deserved to be cursed after everything I had done. I was so selfish. An idealist, maybe, but I hurt Bria because I refused to see reality. I still deserve to be cursed, actually. But why? I also compliment your tastes. <laughs> because I am still selfish. Seed or seed destiny? I think it was seed. Let me look it up. Gundam seed. I remember what the characters look like. It had the guy with like the black hair. And like a girl with like pink hair or something. Yeah, with the, like the little, little feather. Yeah, yeah. It's Gundam seed. It's Gundam Seed, because I remember the guy with the black hair, and then the girl with the pink hair with the little, the little, the little clip in her hair. Yeah, I've seen this one. Was the main character angry? Destiny. Kira has brown hair. Wait, was it Destiny? Hold on. Gundam Seed Destiny. Shin Asuka. Okay, yeah. I, I remember, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Now I'm looking at, like, a, a mock-up of both of them. Have I seen both of them? Because the main character of Destiny looks familiar to me, too. I might have seen both Seed and Destiny. Because they both look familiar. I still remember the Gundam Seed Destiny ending that I often heard as a kid on TV. Yeah, I watched it on TV. Oh, uh, for one of them. Probably did, because they're both connected. Yeah. I don't know if it was, like, on demand or what, but I remember watching a Gundam on TV. And it was this one. Even having remembered everything that made me a bad person, I still desire something. It was Toonami. Yeah, then I definitely watched it, because I watched Toonami a lot as a kid. Maybe it was Gundam Tanaka. <laughs> Oh, I've definitely seen Gundam Tanaka. 
Someone I shouldn't have. My heart plummets again as he looks at me. Ah, uh, no! Not the second hand embarrassment again! I still want so badly to forge a future with someone I don't deserve. Because what am I other than a poor doctor? I'm no knight in shining armor and I'm no prince. But your name's Chevalier! He puts a hand on my cheek and leans closer to me. The distance between us closes in mere seconds. I don't know why I thought Gundam Tanaka, Luminary of the Stars. Yo, he stole Kaito's talent, damn. But still, I keep on dreaming because I... His fingers gently caress my cheek and suddenly I know. I know what he's trying to say before he even says it. Oh no! Oh god. Oh god. Okay, guys. Should I say I love you to him? To, like, be like, Okay, look, look, don't beat yourself up for being in love with me. Or do I say you love me? Oh no. Oh no, I don't know which one is better. Ah! These choices, these Atomic Game choices, I swear to God. I swear to God. Elio, what would you want to hear? I would want to hear them saying I love you. Because, like, I'm telling someone that I think doesn't love me. Like, I love Amelia. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. But listen, like, if I was in love with someone... And I, I had the feeling that they didn't reciprocate me back, but I still, for some odd reason, felt the need to confess my love to them. I want them to, like, be like, Elio, I love you, before I confess. That way I'm not, like, feeling too bad. Just go with your gut instinct. I'm going with I love you. Be glad you don't have blue hair, Elio. <laughs> Why? But I'm not... Okay, I was right. Okay, good. <laughs> Whether you are Rumpel or Chevalier, you're the same person. You do not need to be a knight or a prince. He accepted me for who I was, and he still does. Mother told me that humans were untrustworthy, but... Chevalier smiles at me as he puts his hand, his other hand on my back and pulls me closer. The smile so genuine and so gentle, the same smile I've grown to love. Let's be real, not many people would want to hear you love me. Yeah, it's kind of like, you love me, like what? <laughs> because you'd be the lesser raisin if you were blue. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> my, my hair's white though, so I'm not quite raisin's purple. <laughs> There we go, we got it! Whatever words I've been meaning to say die in my throat as he leans forward and gently places his lips on mine. I feel more grounded than I have ever felt before, but I also feel like I'm flying. I slip my hands on his chest and flex my fingers into his shirt. He runs his fingers gently down my face, then down the length of my neck. My hair is white? No, it's not. Oh, shit. Hold on. Let me bring up Chameleon, because of my, my program breaking down earlier. I have to bring it back up. Hold on. I wonder if it'll work. Give me a second chat. I'm sorry. I ruined your joke. I didn't have the thing brought up in time. I ruined your joke. Okay, yeah, no. I, I really ruined your joke. It is not finding my program. It's because I noticed this. If my program crashes and I have to restart the program and I'm having, like, tits running at the same time, like, it's detecting the API for, for tits. So it's unable to detect the API for chameleon. So we can't do color wheel for the rest of the stream because of that. Unless I'm to like go offline, restart all of my programs, and get everything working again. So, hold on. Let me. 
Let me refund you for the color wheel, Twy. How do I do that? Could someone... Are there any mods here? Because I don't have moderation up. It's fine. It was the thought that counts. <laughs> Sorry about that, chat. Let me... Let me moderate. Channel points. Okay, let me disable color wheel for the rest of the stream. So no one else, like, that doesn't know what happened, does it? And then... Forgot how to manage it. Oh! Review requests queue. There we go. Moderator! I hardly know her! Okay, so where is it? Color wheel. Uh, reject. Refund points back to user. There we go. The rest are all good though, so I'll complete them all. There you go. Moderator, I hardly know her. <laughs> I have tits running. I have yet to see tits having legs to run on. <laughs> I bet it been like a program, okay? Hardly know her. Moderator. Reject. Ah, uh, I was rejected again. <laughs> I'm sorry for rejecting you, Twy, but you have your points back. The kiss feels too short, yet I'm still breathless when Chevalier pulls away from me. Just enough so that I can see his eyes. I love you, my sweet princess. For your smile, for your laugh, for the way that you look out for other people. You're bold and feisty, and you remind me of a firework. You're beautiful, inside and out. The compliment warms my heart in a way that makes me feel like it might be melting. Oh wait, that's a heart attack. Someone call the paramedics. He reaches behind him and holds out the bouquet from earlier. These are for you. You like lilies, don't you? <laughs> See, Lucette? I take the bouquet from him and bring it to my nose. These have always been my favorite flower. How did you know? Chevalier grins at me, and it's so similar to his previous smiles that I know he must not have changed. The first time I gave you that white chocolate flower, your eyes lit up. See? I figured out that Chevalier was perceptive before, but the piquet in my hands feels all the more meaningful now. Princess, I swear that I want to try and change. For you. You should do it for yourself, too. Myself. You should spoil yourself more, too. You always give to others, but you don't take for yourself. Exactly! Please follow this advice. Lucette ain't wrong. She really isn't wrong. Lucette is a top-tier baka. <laughs> Figured out that Chevalier was perceptive before, unlike you, Lucette. <laughs> now you know what you did and you can change things. If Bria can, then so can I. Bria? I went and spoke to her when I was in town today, while I was getting the bouquet as a gift for you. We had to talk about moving on. I didn't understand it fully, and I don't think she did either, but we both agreed that we should. So, I'm going to change what I can, princess. And I promise that I'm going to help you break your curse. Just as you helped me break mine. All the good things I've done are for you. Uh, speaking of ads, you guys know the bullshit that Twitch is doing right now? There's apparently ad incentives that you can do to make your ad be like three minutes long to get money. But like, that's three minutes! That's insane! Hopefully you guys don't get any long ads. Please let me know if any of the ads that you guys get are, like, over a minute. Because I have it set to be the shortest length ads as possible. So please let me know if you guys ever have any ads with that. Ad problems. Because of what Twitch is doing with the ad incentive shit. But what if an ad failed to play? I don't know. Like, if you get, like, a regular ad and it's long... Please let me know. Please let me know. 
I mean, it makes sense if it's done during down times. Like, yeah, like playing an ad. Unfortunately, I can't, like, set it to where, like, ads only play during, like, 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 when I'm away. I should do the one minute ad break more often when I'm away. But, like, while I'm streaming for, like, hours at this time, they're like, oh, we have to do automatic pre-roll ads for your stream because you're a, you're a, you're a partner with us, even though, like, I feel like me setting my ads to be, like, the most unobstructive as possible is still obstructive because of how Twitch is. I don't want my streams to be interrupted with an ad. While I do want to make ad revenue, like, maybe play it when someone comes into the stream or when the stream ends. That's all I really want. I'll handle ads for you, Ella bro. <laughs> I haven't seen ads on your channel for a year because I've been subbed for that long. I hope they aren't long for the others. Yeah. I'm really praying. So, like, y'all that aren't subbed, please, if there are ever any, like, really long ads, please let me know. I feel like ads in your streams are short even when I'm not subbed. Okay, that's good. Because I, I really don't want to interrupt my own streams with ads. And I hate the whole Twitch ad incentive shit. I hate when the ad interrupts the stream watching experience. Yeah. And it's like, I think the ad incentive is like every couple minutes or whatever. You get an ad and you get paid for it with the ad incentive. And I'm like, that's going to be interrupting streams for a lot of people. That's shitty. And it's like three minutes of ads. That's three minutes of a stream you're missing if you're not subbed. I have had every ad cut L off at funny times. <laughs> Me simping for a character. The new Toyota Corolla. That's true. But you've done a lot of other good things too. Even if they may not be big enough to count for your three good deeds. I mean, I have blocks off for certain streamers. Blocks? Like ad block? I don't mind ads. They help you out. That matters a lot. <laughs> Thank you. But also, I like... I wanna... I want things to be not as obtrusive for you guys. I'm like... I'm like... Such a... I'm such a... I, I'm so bad with my streams, guys. Like, I, I'm so heavily opinionated about so many things like i hate having clutter on my streams so that's why like you guys hardly ever see chat on my screen because i'm like what oh, that clutters the stream <laughs> i'm so bad with my stream stop lying <laughs> like i see a lot of streamers will do things like have other videos playing on the same screen or multiple models or like a bunch of items around or like really cool overlays and all that. But I hate how that stuff looks. I just want, I just want my streams to be me and my game. Unless it's a fun game where I can put in a chat and not, not feel too bad about it. Like this is a visual novel, so I don't like having chat show for this. But like, you see, you guys see, I'm so, I'm so picky about how my streams are supposed to look, and I'm also picky about the ad thing, cause I'm like, I don't want ads, but I do want ad revenue. <laughs> you know what game benefits for the auto ad stuff? Fortnite, cause every time you're back in the lobby, you can play an ad, but then you miss out on the fun lobby dialogue. Our dialogue is just as important and well written. <laughs> y'all, y'all bullying me. Is well written? Not mine. <laughs> it just so happens that your curse is very picky, just like Elio is about his streams. Good things. You could always ask mods to try and play ads when you're away. That would be nice. Uh, are, are, are mods able to play ads? Even though I'm still curd and say more handful things than not. It's when you get interrupted or in between major scenes. <laughs> I fingered the necklace at my neck and thought, maybe Chevalier is right. Maybe I have changed, and it is a good change. I don't know if all mods can, but I think so, huh? to see about that when I see a mod in chat. I sit close to Chevalier as the night goes on, 
He tells me a little bit about his past, and I tell him about mine. Either all mods can, or just the ones with editor privilege. Huh. Huh. Are there any mods in chat right now? About Mother and the Palace? The night is not one for advice, just listening. And I remember what Chevalier told me once. That listening can be just as meaningful as advice. That listening to others can help you understand them, hmm? Oh, Dwarf! There you are! Uh, I was curious. Don't do it. Don't do it. I just want to see if the option is available for you. Are you able to run an ad break on my stream? Don't, don't actually do it. I just want to see if the option is available for you. No, don't do it! Dwarf, fight me. I can handle it. Crimson, add me. I can handle it. No! Let me open the mod view. <laughs> he was right. Don't! Do the do, no! Do not do the do! Anyway. Wow, you can only have nine, like, pages to save on this game? Crazy. All right. Yeah, let's save right here. Unlimited ads, no! Unlimited ads work, is there an ad playing? No! Please tell me an ad's not playing. Oh. No? Okay. Okay, good. Good. But yeah, I think... Okay. This is really odd timing on my part, but... I can't tell since I'm subbed. I'm an ad. <laughs> Maybe? Alright. Well, I think I'm gonna end here. Uh, for Cinderella Phenomenon. And I'm gonna take a break to go and vacuum the front room. And then I'll be back for some amnesia. If that's alright with you guys. Play the ad now. I don't think I can. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I'll end this for YouTube. See you guys later, YouTube.